What's going on guys, welcome to a new video. So today then, I want to do the product idea video just to end all other product idea videos. So I've got 50 awesome products to show you guys. It took me quite a few hours to put this together, but then hopefully I can show you some pretty cool products that you've never seen before. And that being said then, there's a lot to get through, so let's get into product number one. So here's product one then. I realize it just looks like a normal water bottle, but at second glance, it's got this pretty cool feature, which is why it features on this list. So I'm just gonna play this and show you. It's got like this, you can see like this spring actioned like just to create spray and I've never seen that before in a water bottle and I thought that was pretty cool because it applies to as it shows in the video like a few different sports especially cyclists and football footballers and products like this and that have these kind of cool and quirky things that nobody's seen before they're the kind of things that get attention on social media and therefore they tend to do quite well Moving on to product number two then is this desk fan. So what gave me the idea for this is that at this time of year where especially in the UK where the temperatures start going up because we're not prepared for weather like this, because we don't really get it consistently, um, offices just don't have aircon. And when I used to work in an office, it used to get just really, really hot. And I ended up buying one of these fans myself for my own desk, just to try and keep me cool so I could actually concentrate on my work. That's how hot it got in the office. So I just think products like this, this time of year, um, they're gonna be on the trend upwards. Um, in other words, more and more people are gonna be starting to buy things like this. Moving on to product number three then, is this LED wall lamp. And it's as you can see, it's in like a treble clef, which is to do with music. And I just think it's like a really cool piece, a really nice piece. I know it's expensive, but high ticket items tend to do really well on Facebook, especially if you can grab the right attention. And I know for a fact that if I showed this to my girlfriend, then she would just have to buy it. She's into music, she's a musician, um, and it's quite cool and quirky um, and unique, never seen before. So I think it would just get a lot of attention and therefore traction um, when it comes to marketing on places like social media, like Facebook. Moving on to number four then is this LED walking stick. Again, I've never seen it before and it solves like a really important problem that people care about. People want to take care of their elders for obvious reasons. And as you can see, it solves a problem for someone who is not really able to walk very well. So they have the walking stick kind of feature of it, but then it also has an LED light on it also, and which helps them see where they're going in poor light conditions. So I think something like this um, would just do really, really well on Facebook. Moving on to the next product then is this dog water bottle. I actually have three of these. When I first saw one, I thought it was really good because I've got a dog. I bought one myself. And then when I was waiting for it to arrive, my girlfriend actually went out and bought two from the store from Pets at Home without me realizing. So now I've got three of the damn things, but they're really, really good and really handy, especially because I've got a big dog. Um, with black fur he tends to sh struggle in the heat so if we are out on a walk then i always 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 bring this with us just so we can we can give him water essentially when he needs it moving on to the next one then is this gps key tracker so the reason this is on the list then is just because it's so cheap and something like this you'll buy like for 20 30 even 40 quid on amazon and in terms of the market that this product would do well in, there's just so many different markets. So you've got, it can obviously work for your keys, it can work for pets. People could just keep it in their car so they can find their car if they need to. The possibilities really are endless. Now before into the next one, actually, I just wanna quickly mention, cause I failed to mention it in the intro, I am giving away a free one-to-one -one consultation call with me in this video. If you want to enter the draw, then all you have to do is dead simple, is simply like the video and leave a comment down below. And if you commented on my previous video, then just make sure you stay tuned to the end of this one and where the winner will be announced. And that being said then, let's get straight into the next one. So this one is pretty cool. It just grabbed my attention. As soon as I saw it, I thought, wow, that's pretty cool, especially for musicians. The fact that it's holographic, now I'm not sure how effective it would actually be. Um, I struggled to find one with a significant amount of orders, but if it really does look like how it does and you can get all these different colors and a remote to go with, then I think if you can target a musical audience and do a video out of this thing like turning on and creating that holographic image um, I just think it will just it'll get loads and loads of attention on Facebook and therefore I think you'll do really well again moving on to the next one is this photo booth now you've probably never seen it before and if you're looking at the price you probably think damn that's crazy expensive but I think it'd be worth a go because it's quite like unique it comes with a video ad as well that you could be able to use um, and it's the sort of thing that if someone was just in the right mood and they were like really into, or if they had a need for this, then I think you could potentially make quite a few sales with this. And as you can see, looking at the price, you could probably sell it for 
probably put 50% on that, try and get away with $500 um, sale price, and that would leave a lot of room um, for your cost per purchase for your marketing costs. So definitely something to consider, especially if you already run a business, maybe this is something you could add to your store, add to your collection if you are in this space, um, and then try and make a sale on it on the off chance. Moving on to the next product then is this, um, it's for fishing and it's an LED live fish bite alarm. It basically tells you when you've got a bite. Um, and the reason this is on the list then is purely because of the kind of weather we're experiencing at the moment. Um, there's not a lot of people that I know that will go fishing when it's raining and when it's cold. So more and more people tend to do it in the summer months um, when the weather is warmer. So more and more people are gonna be investing um, into fishing products. Therefore, I think it's a good product to start selling this time of year. Moving on to the next product then is a GPS tracker purely for your car. If you can see it works by magnetic or you can actually screw it into like anywhere pretty much underneath your car. You can get it professionally fitted if you want to. But then it actually works with um, a map on your phone. And as you can see, it will tell you the exact location. Now for people who have nice cars or perhaps have had a car stolen previously in the past, or perhaps they've got girlfriends that park their cars in, in car parks like Meadow Hall in Sheffield and then forget where they've parked their car, then something like this will come really in handy. And again, I think um, it has a lot of potential. Moving on to the next product then is this, um, I don't really know what to call it. It's kind of like a portable chair for your kid. Um, so obviously as a toddler, they can't always be trusted to keep their balance and stay in a chair. So a product like this works great because you can take it to restaurants um, you can take it to family's houses, you can slip it on the back of any chair um, and therefore their kid can then sit at the table and eat with them or do whatever. So I think a product like this, it's really cheap, it's really portable and it solves um, a really important problem. Moving on to this next product then is a kitchen gadget and the kitchen niche is really strong on Facebook um, just because the market tends to do really well. Um, and again, something I've never seen before and for the avid kitchen user or cooker or chef, whatever it is, baker, somebody who would have a need for this product and if they haven't necessarily seen it before then again it'd be the sort of thing because of the price of it you like you could easily sell it for thirty dollars um, that somebody wouldn't think twice about just buying it there and then it's an impulse buy and again impulse buys tend to do really well on facebook moving on to this next one then is a magic beach sand towel mat thing you've probably seen it before but a product like this is going to be really in demand this time of year because again as the weather starts getting nicer more and more people are going to the beach more and more people are going abroad with the kids summer holidays coming up then there's going to be more and more demand for a product like this moving on to this next product i wanted to just include some more expensive products because i think too many people set their budgets too low when you can actually there is a market to make some really good money with expensive products like this and i think this product's really cool um, it's pretty self-explanatory you simply plug any phone into a projector and therefore you can project your your phone screen onto a wall. So I think a product like this is really cool um, and, and has a lot of potential. Moving on to the next product then, I've lost count of how many we've gone through is this next RC car wall racing. So it will actually go up walls and windows, which I think is really cool. Um, and for a parent who wants to buy their kid really cool products that they're gonna like, then I th again, I think something like this will work really well, especially if you actually buy one yourself um, and then record a really decent video showing how the actual product works. I think that's gonna get a lot of attention. Moving on to the next one then, again, is another office gadget. Um, it's kind of like a mini fridge that you can put a can in and then plug it into your laptop or whatever USB device you choose. And again, I think it's just pretty cool and quirky and a nice video out of this. If you could get hold of an office space to record a video in, show people at work, and then a really funny ad of somebody popping this open, opening the can and taking a sip, then I think stuff like that is just gold for social media for Facebook because it's gonna get a lot of attention. And even if somebody's not interested in buying the product, if the ad is funny enough, they'll share it. And if you get enough people sharing it, then that is essentially how a post goes viral. And if you get a post that's viral, there's always gonna be people that see it that actually want to buy it too. So a really good product and really big potential too. Next one then is this LED. Um, it's not really like a vest. It's kind of like these bands that go around your back. If I show you, um, the images just like of gold pretty much. They just really sell the product in itself. And with more and more people going out on their bike, um, going out running, jogging, walking, whatever, then safety is paramount, especially if you're on the roads and a product like this just solves a really important problem. Um, so definitely, definitely, definitely some really good potential for this one. 
Moving on to the next products then, um, kind of takes advantage of the whole people going abroad or going to the beach and obviously people want to take care of their kids so they should and they want to protect their skin. So they can get something like this to put on the beach and it's got like a hole in the middle that you can fill with water so you can still keep your kid um, cool. They can still take advantage of the water and the sea but as you can see it's, it's protective up to 50 plus so it's also going to protect their skin from the sun too. So it solves a really good problem. It's really cheap too. Um, I don't think a parent would think twice about spending $30, $40 on something like this if it's going to help protect their kid. So a really good product. Moving on to the next one then is this baby romper um, or kind of like a onesie. We call it a onesie in the UK. And the reason this is on the list then, not this, it doesn't necessarily just have to be this product, it's just baby clothes in general. Like my sister um, had a kid and it's a year old now and anything she sees that like she thinks will make her kid look cute, then it's just a must buy because it just plays on those emotional heart springs, strings and things like that will always, always, always do well on Facebook. So any kind of kitty clothing that's gonna make a kid look really cute, um, it's just always gonna be a winner in my eyes. Moving on to the next product then is this camera lens for your phone. So the reason I like this one, it's a bit expensive than the others, but um, it's got really good reviews and actually comes with the holder as well. So a lot of them you'll see, you'll like literally have to manually hold it up against the phone, which isn't very good. But this one has like a lock in, so you can actually lock your phone and it's a lot easier to use. Um, and for people who are into photography or they take a lot of pictures on their phones or the market is just so wide, so huge that there's just a lot of potential for something like this. I think influencer marketing would be a really good route for this product too. Moving on to the next one then is the knockoff AirPods. So AirPods are absolutely huge, but obviously they're absolutely crazy expensive too. So for everybody who can't afford to pay 180 quid or whatever they are now, then you can get like pretty much something that looks identical, probably does an identical job more or less um, for a fraction of the price. So again, as long as you don't market them as AirPods or call them that, then you should be fine advertising a product like this on Facebook. Moving on to this next product. Now you might be thinking I've gone absolutely crackers um, telling you guys to go out and sell this product, but I definitely think it's worth experimenting with because it's such a peculiar and weird and just stupid product. It's the kind of thing that would make people laugh and they just have to take they'd have to tag their mates because if you try to sell someone, if you try to tell someone that you found a pair of slippers that were made to look like a loaf of bread, no one would believe you. So they'd just have to tag their friends and the more people that get tagged and shared, then the more chance you have of the post going viral and people just buying it for kind of like the novelty sake of it. So definitely something to, to think about. Moving on to the next product then is this blackhead. Um, remover it works like a vacuum and I've seen this going around on social media quite a lot recently and it's just been getting a lot of traction purely because it lends itself to a really good video ad um, and video ads that um, are done correctly will capture the right attention um, have real good potential of going viral and therefore that's just kind of like the key ingredients to doing to being really successful on Facebook so definitely a good product plus the market that it's in um, is just absolutely ginormous. Moving on to the next product then is this portable solar window mobile charger. Now the reason I like this so much is because as technology increases in phones, the battery size and length just tends to go down. So more and more people have to charge their phone throughout the day, especially people in London and cities who commute a lot. And a product like this works really well because they can stick it on the side of the train or a taxi window, car window, a restaurant window, and just charge their phone um, pretty much anywhere. Um, anywhere that they are so um, definitely a really good product moving on to the next one then i think this is product number 25 so we're halfway through if you're still watching and thank you very much i really do appreciate you guys um, and this is something that was pretty cool and quirky and again those products tend to do well on facebook and it's pretty much just a tea infuser so you can put your tea bag in there you can put it in there and then it's actually got like this pump on as well so you can actually squeeze it to make sure you get all the like water and flavoring out your tea bag or whatever it is um, and i think this Again, because it is such a cool and quirky thing, it's the kind of thing people will just impulse buy for their friends, and they might even buy two, three, or five of these things. Moving on to the next one then, here are these leggings. Now, leggings is such a huge market, but the reason I like these ones then is because if you look over the inner linings of them, I've never actually seen leggings like this before. Now, that might be because I'm a bloke. Um, if you're a girl watching this, 
Um, I doubt you're probably not even watching it because girls don't watch my channel, but I've never seen anything like this before and those things that people have never seen before um, always tend to do well on Facebook. Moving on to the next product then, probably something you've definitely seen before, but the reason it just has to be on the list is because of how cheap it is and how good it is and how promotable and advertisable it is. Like a good video ad of a drone um, is really easy to do because it shows what the product does and it's the sort of thing that will get attention on social media. I paid £1,200 for my drone and this thing does pretty much the exact same thing and you could sell it on Facebook for easily $60, $70. So the profit margins are really good too. Moving on to the next um, product then, sorry, is this kind of scarf that can double up as a beanie but as you can see it's got a pocket in too. So Women especially, if they if they don't want to carry a bag or they're wearing leggings, they've got nowhere to put this kind of stuff. So it solves a, like a, a small problem, but it's pretty neat if you ask me. Um, and I did actually show this to my girlfriend and she said, yeah, it would come in handy and she would use something like this, especially if she was out walking the dog or something. Moving on to the next product then is this backpack. Now the reason this is on my list then is because the market's quite specific, so they're really easy taggable. So I would definitely go like city by city selling something like this because again people commuting um the use their phone a lot that might not necessarily might not necessarily be able to get a full day um on a phone battery they can charge their phone through it it's got loads of different features i've seen loads of really cool facebook ad videos just showing the different features so if you can put a really nice ad together and advertise it and put it in front of the right market then again i think there's huge potential and plus it's not a low ticket item as well there's you could probably sell it for a hundred dollars if you do it well enough it looks like a really quality piece so again the profit margins are there too moving on to the next product then is this led light case now the reason I like this then is just because it's cool and quirky and it's the sort of thing that you don't see very often going around on Facebook um, and you can change the color of the lights which I think is pretty cool and you can actually set it so when your phone starts ringing that the lights start going off too which I think is a pretty cool feature. I think other people will find it pretty cool and therefore it'll get a lot of attention and traction on Facebook. Moving on to the next one then is a dog call mat. I've featured this one before, but I have to feature it again because this is a no brainer. I myself will be selling these because I know how effective they are. Um, I've done a video on them before. I've got half a dozen in my own fridge just because they're an absolute godsend. And if you target the right breed of dog and the right owners, then these, these they just will sell, end of story. <laughs> Moving on to the next product then. It's this beanie hat now, it looks just like a normal beanie hat. But what's pretty cool about this then is it's got a hole in the back so women can wear it with a ponytail and it's quite fashionable and I just think something like this. Um, it probably needs quite a big budget because this will all be about coverage and just um, trying to show as many people as possible this product, but definitely a lot of potential. Or at least something you could, if you do have like an apparel store or a ladies fashion store, something you could keep on there that will get attention when people are already on your store. Moving on to the next product then, is this RC Transformer car. Now the reason I think this will do well is pretty is because it's pretty cool and to be honest, um, I'm probably going to buy myself one of these because it is so cool. Um, it starts off like this, it's just like a normal RC car and you can press a button and it transforms into this which is just every kid's dream and I think every parent out there that has a kid that's into transformers um, this is just going to be a no-brainer buy to them plus the profit margins are pretty good you could easily get away with selling this for 40 even 50 dollars moving on to the next product then is this cycle phone holder so you attach it to your bike it's universal you can attach your phone to it you can use it as GP and then you can use your phone as like a map or you can see if anyone's ringing you for calling you you can change your music i think a product like this will do really really well again for this time of year too because as the weather is getting better then more and more people are getting out on their bikes um, so i think a product like this just all round is is a good product that has really good potential moving on to the next product then is this kids play mat now again, with the weather getting better, more and more kid, um, parents are taking their kids outside to the park, to the beach, and a product like this is just awesome because they can fill it full of loads of toys, um, and then it all wraps up into one handy drawstring bag that they can then take with them. And again, when they need to clear up, they literally just draw the string bag, everything's together, they can take it wherever they want to go. It's just really transportable, it's really cheap, um, and all in all, a really good product. Moving on to the next one then, are these shark slippers. Now again, these are a bit off the off the rail if you like, but the reason I like these then is just because they're pretty cool and they're quite neat and the sort of thing that will get attention because it is kind of like your foot's being eaten by a shark, then it's the sort of thing people will get attention, um, their attention will be drawn to, it's the sort of thing they'd want to show their mates because they're quite cute and at the same time quite funny. Um, so again, something, 
what I try and do in these videos is kind of like retrain your mind into what kind of products will do well on Facebook because it's not necessarily about the products, it's more about the actual platform you're advertising them on. So one thing I like to tell people is think of a social product rather than a good product, if that makes sense. Moving on to the next one then is this face mask. Now again, the reason I like this then is because everybody's seen like the charcoal face masks, but I've never seen a gold one either. So it's the kind of thing that will get people's attention because it's something they haven't seen before. Um, so again, a lot of potential. Those products that people haven't seen before are always the products that do well on Facebook. Moving on to the next one then is this makeup bag. It's like a travel one. So again, you've got your market straight away of people who travel, women who travel or men who wear makeup and travel. Um, and the reason I like this then is it works similar to that kitty mat in the fact that like you can take your makeup everywhere and it's really transportable and easy. Like I've got my desk here, but sometimes my girlfriend will do my head in by doing her makeup at my desk for whatever reason. And there's just so much stuff. It, like, it can sometimes take 20 minutes just to clear up after her. Whereas, in fact, I might actually buy one of these so she can keep all her makeup in one bag. She can open it, do her makeup, and then just close it and move it out of my way <laughs> as soon as possible. So something like this, I think, is just a really good handy product. Moving on to the next one then. Um, the reason I like this is because it just grabbed my attention because it's quite cool and quirky. Um, it's a sort of, because it is so cheap, it's kind of like the USB disco thing you can get that people would just buy on impulse just to see if it actually works because you could sell this for maybe $10, $15. Um, and I think it has a lot of potential, especially going viral too. It's the sort of thing that people would tag their mates in and say, oh, this is pretty cool, why don't you buy one? And it's this sort of thing that's cheap enough for people just to buy it for the sake of it, if that makes sense. Moving on to the next product then, this is product number 39, I just had a quick count. So if you're still watching the video, thank you very much. It's an LED selfie case, so everybody loves taking selfies, um, or most people do. I'm not really the biggest fan, to be honest. But as you can see, it's got two LED strips. You can hold the phone up. It gives you really good lighting and just um, a really cool, neat product, to be honest. That I can see a lot of people um, being interested in. And it's in the kind of price point as well where you could sell it for $20, $30, make some decent money. And it is the sort of thing that people just impulse buy. Moving on to the next thing then is this teeth whitening kit. We're living in an age where shows like Made in Chelsea, The Only Way is Essex getting really popular. More and more people are basically putting more and more money into their appearance. So more and more people are buying products like this. So again, I think a lot of potential um, for products like this that are solving a problem or helping people achieve something that they want to achieve. Moving on to the next product then, which is the dash cam. Products like these are getting more and more popular. I did a lot of research into these and I think they've got a lot of potential. Um, purely because somebody who has one of these is gonna make their insurance cheaper. Um, so there's incentive there for somebody to buy one. Um, it's something like, I think it's 20% of UK drivers already have one with another 20% of drivers planning to invest in one. Um, and plus the profit margins are really good. So if you go into somewhere like Halfords and try and find one of these things, then you're probably looking at at least a hundred pounds. So as you can see, even if you sold it for only $80, then that would leave quite a significant amount of room in there for your marketing cost and your profit too. Moving on to the next product then, um, it's called the Turbo Trainer. And basically what it allows people to do is hook up pretty much any bike to this device here. Um, and it allows them to train inside. So if the weather isn't very good, they can still get their miles in on their bike. Um, I think anything that allows people to exercise in a more convenient way is always gonna be a winning product. Moving on to the final few then is this bike light. Um, it's quite unique and again, and quirky, the sort of thing that if people haven't seen it before, then it's gonna get a lot of attention and the more attention a product gets on social media, then the more chance you have of it going viral and the more viral a product goes, then the more successful and more sales it's going to bring. This next product then is a video doorbell. I think it's got a lot of potential because if you do some research into the industry, you'll see that more and more people are spending money on products like this, like smart home technology, plus it solves a problem problem in terms of home security. So I think more and more people are definitely gonna start investing in things like this. Plus it's got really good potential for a good video ad and a good video ad um, done correctly um, is just gold when it comes to advertising on social media platforms because it gets a lot of attention, a lot of organic traffic and all in all then they're kind of like the key ingredients to what add up to a successful marketing campaign. Moving on to the next product then is the 4K camera. Now the reason I like this then is purely because the kind of season we're coming into, with the weather getting better, obviously more and more people are going away, um, playing sports, water sports, going skiing, whatever it is. So there's gonna be more of a demand for this product. Plus, 
If you look at things like GoPros or equivalents in UK retail stores, you're looking at minimum probably 200 pounds. So you could probably get away with selling something like this for hundred dollars. And then that leaves you anywhere from kind of like $70 plus in terms of margin for your marketing cost and your profit. So hugely potentially profitable. Um, definitely a product to consider if you enjoy that kind of space. And plus when it comes to creating video ads as well, there's so many different ways you could go about it. There's so many different markets, like I said, snowboarding and skiing, water, small, water sports, even people like car enthusiasts would attach this to their car, something like this. So yeah, definitely a product to consider. Next one then is this like photography photo studio box, um, purely because more and more people are getting into things like e-commerce, um, or it could literally be anything like where people have a demand to create proper photos for products and it allows somebody essentially just to start a side business like you could stick anything in that and, and take quite a professional picture and I myself actually have one for when I order products from AliExpress sometimes the photos on AliExpress aren't always the best so something like this would solve that problem and it will allow you to advertise your products in a really nice way so even if you don't consider selling something like this on Facebook then definitely should consider investing in yourself um, so you can take better pictures of your products. Moving on to this next product then product number 48 is this weighted blanket um, I'm not going to go into too much detail now but do your research like there's loads and loads of health benefits to this and my girlfriend did actually buy one of these and they're actually pretty cool like when you have it on top of your um, it does actually like relieve stress and things like that so a really cool product it's quite expensive but again definitely a decent marketing campaign behind this and there's potential to make a lot of money. Moving on to product number 49 then, we're almost there, is this charger cable. So the way it works then is you can see, if I go back to this one, you've got this piece, this piece, and this piece. You'll stick it in the end of your phone, and then this magnetically attaches. So um, I saw a video on this, if, I'm not sure if it was on this page, but it's pretty cool how you can put like the cable like two, three inches from your phone, and it will kind of just like attach itself because the magnet's that strong. And I think something that has a really good video campaign behind it, um, but really makes it easy to be successful on Facebook. So a product like this is really good. And plus it solves that dreaded problem that like everybody's seen. It. I haven't got mine on me, but the iPhone cables always start to shred um, and come apart and you end up having to buy a new ones. So again, it solves a problem too. Moving on to the final product then is this cat water fountain. I did a lot of research into this and I'm actually considering it myself just purely because the orders are there to back it up. I think the popularity is too. I've not seen many people advertise a product like this and it's the kind of thing as well that when people see it and think it's pretty cool, um, especially if you did a video ad behind it because it's it's dead easy to do, I would actually consider buying one myself and then like setting up this <clears throat> space and trying to get my dog to come in and drink from it. And I think something like that is just gonna work really, really well um, and, can, and a potential for a really good product because of the price point too. Like you could sell this for probably $50 working on a cost per purchase of say $10, then you're looking at anywhere between $20 and $30 profit per product. So the profit margins are there. Um, it's in a really good thriving niche. So again, loads and loads of potential on this product. And that being said then, that is all 50 products. If you're still watching the video, then thank you very much guys. I really hope you saw some cool products in there that you enjoyed. Um, and if you do go out and market some of these, then make sure you come back and let me know what kind of results you get. All I ask then is that if you did enjoy the video, please do make sure you leave a like. And of course, if you want to be entered into that one-to-one -one raffle um, for a chance to win a call with me, then um, all you have to do is leave a comment down below. And that being said then, let's get into announcing the winner of the previous video. Here we are then guys on the previous video. Can a product be too saturated? Um, a lot of important information in this video. So if you haven't watched it yet, please do go make sure that you do. Um, so I'm just going to take the URL then on top left, head over to the random comment picker. So this is 100% random. Um, I have no say then in who wins these calls. Um, so let's see who's the winner then of the previous video. So the winner is Parvez. Um, thanks for this insightful video. Great way to find out if a niche is saturated or not. So thank you very much. Make sure you hit me up on Instagram then and we can get that call arranged. And for everybody who didn't win then, bad luck. However, if you just want to get straight down to business and book a call right away, then you can do so. There is a link in the video description down below. So please do make sure you check that out. And that being said then guys, thanks again for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.